Yeah, as you say, this was a, 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 almost a, a decision that was widely expected from this jury, given, of course, that Christensen's own attorneys in both the opening and the closing statements today admitted that their client did it. As you say, it took the jury some two hours uh, to make that decision, and in the end, it was a conviction for Brent Christensen for the kidnapping and the killing of Jiang Yingying. Brent Christensen arrived at Peoria's federal courthouse on Monday, knowing that a jury would likely decide if he was guilty of kidnapping and killing Jiang Yingying. With Christensen's defense attorney having already admitted his client killed the Chinese scholar, the jurors were expected to render a quick verdict. In closing statements, Christensen's attorneys again made clear their client was responsible for the kidnapping and death of 26-year-old Jiang, whose body has never been recovered. It's Brent's fault, federal defender Elizabeth Pollock told the court as Christensen sat with his eyes closed. It's nobody's fault but his. But she said Christensen was not a serial killer. His attorneys already appear to be laying the groundwork for the sentencing phase. The jury took a little under two hours to come to a decision. The verdict, perhaps unsurprisingly, was unanimous. Guilty on all three charges. And Christensen now faces the death penalty. In the meantime, some satisfaction for Jiang's family that justice was served. But they know nothing can be done to bring Jiang back. <coughs> Afterwards, the family told me they still want answers to the events of two years ago. I am very touched today. Thanks very much to the jury. I really miss my daughter. I want to take her home. I want to take her home. We want him to confess as soon as possible, so the most important thing is to tell us where Yingying is. And our biggest hope is finding Yingying and taking her home. The sentencing phase will begin in two weeks. The same jury will decide whether Christensen will spend the rest of his life behind bars or sentenced to death. Well, the family also afterwards really talking about how they just really can't uh, even imagine how they can uh, get on with the rest of their lives without Jiang Ying Ying. It really was, it has to be said, a very emotional day here. The focus now, though, will be on sentencing, with Brent Christensen either spending the rest of his life behind bars or he will be sentenced to death. Dan Williams, live for us in Peoria, Illinois.